What is up? Fat kid in the back. Shut up. This is my video. We're talking about the top three drummers in rock and metal. We're going to get into it. These are no particular order. Number three would be Mike Rungard, Rungard of Disturbed. He's a very good, uh, really good rhythmic drummer. And he does a lot of um, double bass. The dude's notorious for playing very good. Maybe he doesn't do all the double bass and uh, blast beats that a lot of these guys do. And he has one of the best drum sounds ever when it comes to metal music. His drum sound is phenomenal he doesn't have a lot of these weird like crappy drum sounds of Saint Anger no one's here trash can <laughs> who's next on this list Who's next? Tell me! On this list would be Shannon Larkin, which is the drummer for Godsmack. And like I said, these drummers are not the drummers that normally people would pick as the greatest drummers of all time. This dude is notoriously good. He does, he can do drum solos, he can do double bass, he can play rhythms, he can play metal, non-metal, he can play like tropical music, um, like island type music. He can play every genre of music and he's not just a musician that plays metal with black da 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 not everybody wants to hear a thousand miles an hour in the blast beats. You know, some of those blast beats sound like freaking machine guns going off, and you're like, D -d 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 Wow, there's guns going on. That's what it sounds like when you hear some of these blast beats. And when you're not hearing blast beats, you just hear a guy who can just basically play a rhythm and keep a beat and play really good and play really solid, and you're like, that's a good drummer. For me, maybe this list isn't the greatest list for you guys, but it's a list that I pick, so you guys gotta listen to it. So it's Shannon Larkin as number two, like I said, he is one of the baddest drummers on the planet. He plays in Godsmack, he plays in other bands. He's notorious for being a really well-rounded drummer. He's been out... Bill Ward, Black Sabbath. Nothing can be said about that band. It's nothing already been said. Black Sabbath is one of the originators of this music we call heavy metal, heavy music. And he might not even be one of the um, all-time well-known drummers as far as metal or being crazy with the blast beats or the double bass. He plays very slow, very, uh, like he's always in the pocket. And this dude is one of those dudes, if you've never seen him live, I recommend you've seen him live. He's a drummer in his 60s and 70s that can really tear shit up. I've seen him in 04 and 05, and I wouldn't even have uh, guessed. If I was my very first time I ever seen Black Sabbath and they didn't tell me these dudes were in their 50s and 60s, I would be like, that's some fucking teenager just bashing around on the drums, playing the hell out of it. And you can definitely tell Black Sabbath has passion for their music. Black Sabbath with Ozzy is better than Black Sabbath with Dio! My opinion, my opinion only. I'm not a big Dio fan. I'm the Black Sabbath fan of Black Sabbath with Ozzy. My video, shut your mouth, punk. But like I said, guys, as always, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what are your favorite three drummers. Those are my favorite three drummers. And as always, baby, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.